ametupatia nafasi ingine tuje mbele zake tumsifu tupigie Yesu makofi shalom na nasi po tuongoza
tu sababu ni mwaminifu na ni mwema na hakuna aliye kama yeye anastahili sifa zetu sote tunakuinua mfalme wa ajabu thank you for your faithfulness lord
kukupa sifa heshima na utukufu maana ni zako wewe ulie keti katika kiti chako cha enzi unastahili sifa heshima na utukufu hakuna aliye kama wewe asubuhi jema haufananishwi hauliganishwi maana wewe ni Mungu na utabaki kuwa Mungu milele na milele ulie ansa ulie uba Siva zote tulizo nazo dani zetu ni zako Winuliwe asubuhi chema na kila kiube kilisho dani ya hii nyumba mfalme wa ajabu maana wewe unatosha unatosha kwa mambo yote mfalme wa ajabu wewe uliyetupa uhai asubuhi chema tunainua jina lako tukikusifu sana asubuhi chema tunakuja na shukulani mioni yetu baba kwa makume tutendea Jehova katika nchi yetu katika familia yetu umetutedea makuu katika nyumba yako umetutedea makuu pokea shukrani setu baba na katika kila binafsi umetutedea makuu Jehova umetunua kutoka kiwango moja hadi kingine kwa mapensi yako mfalme tunakuinua sisi sote tukisema wewe ni mwema wewe ni mkuu hakuna aliye kama wewe Jehova wewe umetupigania fita zote Mkuu wa majeshi shukrani zote ni zako asubuhi jema asubuhi jema baba tonyenyekea mbele zako mfalme tukiomba msamaha maana sisi ni wenye dhabi baba tunaka tunaka dunia ya dhabi baba lakini tunaomba kusamehewa na wewe mfalme wa ajabu tutakase tuoshe kwa damu ya mwanao Yesu Kristo asubuhi jema tupe nafasi tena ya kukutumikia maana tunapokuja kwa nyumba yako baba tunakuja kutafuta uso wako na tena tukikupea shukrani setu ni asanti asubuhi jema asubuhi jema baba yetu tunakubuka nchi yetu mahali tuko mahali tumefika katika nchi yetu tunasema wewe ni Ebenesa endelea na kutulinda na Mungu kutupatia hekima kutokana na yule mkuu blessed and jehova kwenda chini baba tunaomba hekima yako na diposa mfalme kwa kila jabo tukalifanye na hekima yako baba tunakuomba jehova katika nchi yetu utujarie mema mfalme utuonekanie maana tuwezi bila wewe katika nchi yetu kuna maovu inatedeka lakini mwenye haki atasimama tunaomba utusimamisha imara Tusi kuwe wa kuyuba yuba bari tusimame imara katika wema wako nchi yetu inapoyuba yuba mwenye haki asimame imara katika jina kura Yesu Kristo baba maana tunakuangalia tunapokuangalia katika nchi yetu ukatutendee mema tunataka kukubuka kanisa lako kanisa lako Yesu Kristo uriye mkuu sana katika kanisa lako Naomba kanisa lako Jehova likasimame imara katika hizi siku za mwisho kanisa lako isiyubayube kanisa lako ulie Jehova ansia mwanzo na mpaka hapa imefika ni wewe God I pray that you may stand with the church today that we may not waver with the things of the world Jehova that we may stand strong in the name of Jesus I pray for the men that God you may strengthen them that they may not give up there is no giving up in your work please give them strength please give the women the strength give, give the youth the strength give the children the strength to serve you in the church in the name of Jesus give the elder the strength give deacon the strength give us members the strength to serve you my god it might be tiresome but lord it has a reward may you strengthen us lord may you give us the strength to stand still and to see what god you are doing just as you told moses 
to stand still and see what you do for the children of Israel. And surely, God, you did it, my Father. We are praying, my Father, even today, my Savior, that you build a lock in your church and no hands of the devil shall prefer it in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you, my Father, because of our families, Lord. We commit our families unto your neighborhood, oh, Father. Surely, my God, what are you seeing in our family? It is not good, my Father. But this morning, Lord, we are crying for our families, Lord. Families are killing one another. Families are messing one another. But we are pleading for mercy upon family. Mercy, mercy upon family. My God, without family, there can be no church. There can be no nation. Please, God, stand for the family. That man who has given up in the family, just strengthen them, Jehovah. The men, they are Peter. They are the hand in the family. Strengthen them, Jehovah. And let the women now with their own hands, God, stand with the family, Jehovah. And even our children in the family, God, help them to be obedient to their parents, Lord. And more to that, Lord, every evil spirit that is lying against our family, every kind of setback, every kind of evil spirit, we lies against them in our family in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that, Lord, the foundation of Christ Jesus be upon our family in the name of Jesus. We, we, we bring the foundation of the word of God in, the, in our families in the name of Jesus. That each and every moment that we may be led by your word in our families in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, my father, we know the devil is not, he, he, he loves like a lion looking for someone to defile. This morning, in the name of Jesus, we lie against him. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, he has no power. He has no authority over your people, Lord. We thank you, King of our glory, as we raise your banner high, Father, in this church, Lord. As we raise your work high in the name of Jesus Christ. For without you, we cannot make it, Lord. To turn our way to Tigehota Gaiwito. No, no, to a Koya Gai. O the Nabara Nagotoni Terra Moadani. The Nabara Nagoto Hina Agotavera Waku. Neto Nue Gai Muega. This morning, we call upon you in this church, Lord. May you remember each and everyone in this church, Redeemer. Whoever has come here, my Father, as they go out, my Father, I ask one thing. That they may not go the same way they have come, God. I call upon the blessing upon them. Someone we seek to be well, oh God. For you are the great physician by the power of which you are known to be God. Alas, now that they may be well. They may be well in their mind. They may be well in their, in their heart. They may be well in their soul. And even their strength. And even their finances, Lord. There shall be well. Father, I remember them that are sick in hospital, God. Also remember them. Heal them by your power. You are the Jehovah Rava, our healer, my Savior. You send forth your word and heal their diseases. Father, heal their diseases this morning. You are the great physician, God. Heal them in the name of Jesus. Father, we cannot forget the widow and the widow, my Father. The, the less fortune and the orphans, Lord. Father, you are the father to the fatherless. Remember them, Jehovah. God, meet their need according to your riches in glory. Father, do what no man can do. Upon them that are in law. Father, lift their heart, O oh Lord. Sometimes we feel low. Sometimes we feel powerless. Sometimes we feel like and we can give up in life. Father, we refuse that. And we pray for another chance. Give us your thinking. To benefasia kukufikiria. Mana wewe ni mungu muema. Tunajinua kwa konfarume. Tunapo Jehovah fanya kasi yako. To see shoke, mana i dunia ni akuletea mutu majaribu. Mana i dunia ni akufanya mutu a choke. Lakini na omba baba, enderea na kutupatia ngufu, enderea na kupatia imani. Dia tusimame kama muamba tehova. Mana wewe ni mungu wetu. Tunakupa sifa heshima na utukuvu, tunapo ansa ibada ya reo. 
kuwa nasi mfalme wa ajabu tunapoendelea baba na kubuka naye ongosa ibada mpene ma jehova hata naye anaye jehova hubiri chini ya leo ukamtumia kama tu chombo chako baba lakini wewe unene kurigana na fira unataka kutunenea tunakupea masikio yetu tunakupea roho zetu na diposa ukatujase na diposa ukatubariki siku jema katika jina la Yesu tunakuinua sana baba wetu tunakupenda na tunasema ni asanti kwa wema wako mahali tumefika ni wewe unaitwa Ebenesa pokea siva heshima na utukufu we give all the glory we give the honor to your name wewe ndiye mfalme wewe ndiye Mungu mwema na hakuna aliye kama wewe jehova kutana na hitaji ya kila mmoja na uidhibisha jehova Oh God, and you make it and solve it in the name of Jesus. We worship and we praise your name. For this is our prayer of faith, trusting and believing in Jesus name we pray. Our Father who is at in heaven, our Lord. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. I deliver us from evil. Oh, rise the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God again. Amen. Yeah, it is a beautiful Sunday morning. We thank God for another day. The psalmist said, I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I believe we are all glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Because in the house of the Lord there is full in his presence there is fullness of joy and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. So let us be blessed together this morning. We will now stand up for our opening hymn. Hymn number 66 What a friend we have in Jesus. <laughs>
to worship this morning comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 7. And it reads, Is it not to divide your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked that you cover him, and that you hide not yourself from the needs of your own flesh and blood. That is the word of the Lord. We can have our seats. We will now go straight away to the presentations. Our first presentation will come from the youth. Youth, you are welcome. will be by Sharon. Praise God. Praise God once more. So my name is Sharon and first of all I'd like to thank the Lord for being here for giving me the breath of life because probably in high school I used to pray God to help me during my examination so that I won't be sick. Now most probably at some point one day God I will give a testimony now I have never given that testimony maybe maybe somehow but sasa, looking back nikifanya my exam that that time ilikuwa na a lot of trouble finances school fees na ukiwa form 4 in our school hautaitikishwa shule that time kama clear fees so it was it was a tough time sasa, looking back I'm like I need to thank the Lord and give a testimony for this because it's a great testimony that nilimaliza na sikuka home for a long period without going back to school. And I'd like to sing. Uniongoze na huruma zako Usiponi bariki siwezi kwenda Mina jua bila nguvu zako siwezi kwenda Na nina jua bila nguvu zako siwezi kwenda Kwa mkono wako kweli umenibariki Not much. 
very much, Sharon, for that beautiful song, and thank you for our youth. Lastly, we will have the choir.
very much, choir. Next, we will listen to intimations and announcements, which will be read to us by Elder Moses Mugi. Good morning, church. Bwana asifiwe. Kama unaniona nipungie hewa. Bwana asifiwe. God is good. God is good. And all the time. We thank God for giving us another opportunity to be found in his sanctuary. Indeed, it's always a privilege for God to give us that revelation that we come into the house of the Lord and to set aside the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. On behalf of LCC, I want to welcome you all into our Lord's sanctuary this morning. And uh, on that note, I want to request if we have a visitor who is fellowshipping with us for the very first time. Is there anyone by the show of HUD? Thank you. I think we are all members. Thank you, Karibu Nisana, and we're going to continue being with us. Today, uh, we are being led by the LCC, as you can see. Coming Sunday, church school will be on duty. So church school, prepare for that. will be on duty, both services. We are going to have uh, a very short service today, a very brief service. Then thereafter, we shall join uh, PCA Kenyatta Road, our mother church for PCMF commissioning. And as you can see, most of our members who are being commissioned, dedicated, uh, or admitted to the PCMF, they are already um, in PCA Kenyatta. So after this, if we get a position or we get a chance, uh, let us all join PCA Kenyatta Road for that service. May God bless you and do good. Thank you. That is all that we have. Then the rest we have from ICT. Karibuni. Welcome to PCEA Goshen, where the Holy Spirit of God reigns. For our first time visitors, we are glad to have you join us as we fellowship together. This is our order of service. English service, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Teen service, 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Kikuyu service, 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Our weekly fellowships are as follows. Sunday, choir practice, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday, praise and worship practice, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Wednesday, women's guild fellowship, 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Thursday, district fellowship, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Friday, choir practice, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday, Brigade Badwak, 2.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. And ICT trainings from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. This week's Thursday's fellowships will be held as follows. Omaja District members will hold their fellowship at Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Gishuru's home at Kwawaria. Berea and Kanan District fellowships will be held at Elder and Mrs. Ken Gidin. Bethlehem District Fellowship will be at Florence Dongo Residence in Chai Estate. Trinity District Fellowship will be at Mr. and Mrs. Nganga, Mama Nice. Judea District will have an online fellowship. Trinity District Deacons are the ones on duty today. Berea District Deacons will be on duty next. We shall all have one service today and thereafter, we are all invited to PCEA Kenyatta Road for the admission, dedication, and commissioning into PCMF membership event, which shall start at 10 a.m. Karibuni. This month's PCMF monthly fellowship will be held next Sunday, 30th June, at Mr. and Mrs. Alan Jenga in Kanan District, Paradise Estate. All men are requested to attend. The Parish Evangelism team invites us all for prayer and fasting next Saturday, 29th June 2024. The venue shall be at PCEA Bethany Springs, starting at 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. 
we are all invited for an exchange and worship Sunday, 14th July 2024 at Bethany Spring from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. You cannot afford to miss. Women's Guild invites members to a must attend meeting on the 14th July 2024 immediately after the second service. All members are at we are all invited to a special fundraising event that shall be held here at PCEA Goshen Church on 8th September 2024 from 8 a.m. All the money raised shall be used to finance the church land acquisition project as well as facilitate other church development projects. Let us continue supporting cheerfully. God bless you. Verse of the week, Genesis chapter 8 verse 22. As long as the earth remains, there will be springtime and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, day and night. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our church's YouTube channel, that is, at PCA Goshen. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much for those announcements. We will now have a prayer for the children, prayer in Apostles' Creed, which will be led by Elder Winnie. Watoto. Ni baraka kutoka kwa Mungu kweli kweli ni baraka watoto wetu ni baraka tunawaombea Youth can join youth Ni baraka kutoka kwa Mungu Kweri, kweri, ni baraka, baraka kutoka kwa mungu. Kweri, kweri, ni baraka watoto wetu. Ni baraka, na waumbea, baraka. Andi atatuongoza na apostokri. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered at the portion Spirit, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell, and the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Atatuombe. Uh, Almighty and everlasting Father, we come into your presence this wonderful morning. Thank you, dear Father, because of your blessings. Thank you because of your grace. Thank you because of your mercy. Thank you because of many things that you have done into our lives, many things that you are doing, and many things that you shall do, dear Father. You alone, dear Father, is worthy of our praise, our worship, honor, and glory, Jehovah, because, dear Father, you are the reason, dear Father, even for this gathering, this wonderful morning, dear Father. We thank you, dear Father, and we ask for forgiveness of our sins, Jehovah, and even the, the forgiveness of the sins, dear Father, of even these dear ones, dear Father, our children, our teens, dear Father, and even our youth, Jehovah. Anything, dear Father, we have done, dear Father, even as parent and guardian, dear Father, we pray that you may forgive us, dear Father, that, dear Father, we shall be acceptable, dear Father, unto your holy name, dear Father. You know, dear Father, Lord God, it is you, dear Father, who has made each one of them, dear Father, and Lord God, you knew them before even they were conceived in their mother's womb, dear Father, and Lord God, this far, dear Father, we say you are Ebenezer, dear Father. You have been able, dear Father, even to protect them, to provide for them, dear Father, to keep them in divine health, Jehovah, and even, Lord God, that you are the reason, dear Father, for their living, dear Father, and Lord God, we know, dear Father, we have great plans and purpose for their life, dear Father, and it is a dear Father plan, dear Father, even to prosper them, dear Father, and Lord God, to give them, dear Father, a great future and a hope, dear Father. We pray, dear Father, that you may continually, dear Father, watch over these dear ones, dear Father, their blessings, dear Father, and your blessings, dear Father, make it rich and added in all sorrow, Jehovah. Bless, dear Father, each one of them, dear Father, even dear Lord, from the, the homes, dear Father, 
Father and the families that they come, dear Father, even Lord God, remembering those that matters to them, dear Father. May you, dear Father, Lord God, continue to bless them, dear Father, and even to walk with them, dear Father, and even to put a hedge of protection upon them, dear Father. Lord God, and even to watch over them and even to give your angels charge over them, dear Father, to keep them and guard them in all their areas, Jehovah. As even they go out and come back, dear Father, may they be protected by the blood of Jesus, Jehovah. And Lord God, we print the blood of Jesus upon them, dear Lord, and even we soak them, dear Father, the blood of Jesus, dear Father, that there is no attack of the enemy and no weapon of the enemy formed against any of them, dear Father, shall prosper, dear Father. We remember, dear Father, even those that belong to this congregation, dear Father, those that even are far, dear Father, those, dear Father, even, dear Father, in, in boarding schools, Jehovah, those, dear Father, even wanting to be in this church today, dear Father, they did make, dear Father, and even, Lord God, we remember those even, dear Father, away, dear Father, in distance places, dear Father, may the blessings, dear Father, be upon them, dear Father, and Lord God, continue, dear Father, even to bless them as you bless these dear ones, Jehovah. Bless even, dear Father, the parent and the guardians, Jehovah. May you continually, dear Father, provide for them, dear Lord, that these ones, dear Father, will walk, dear Father, to the purpose and the, to the, dear Father, to your will, dear Father. Nothing, dear Father, will come, dear Father, even to separate them from your love, dear Father, but they shall continually, dear Father, glow by your want, Jehovah, and Lord God, even by your love, dear Father. We pray for those that might not be feeling well, by your mighty hand, dear Father, your Jehovah, Rapha, the God that healeth all the diseases, may you heal them, dear Father, and Lord God, may you restore their health, Jehovah, and continue, dear Father, even Lord God, to give them the strength, Jehovah, and by the stripes of Jesus on the cross, we declare that they are all healed, Jehovah. Thank you, dear Lord, even because of the many desires that they have, dear Father, even as children, as teens, as youth, Jehovah, they have, dear Father, even the desires, dear Father, even to pursue their career, Jehovah, and thus, dear Father, even for employment, Jehovah, and thus, dear Father, you've given them even the talent and the gift, Jehovah, and many things, dear Father, into them, dear Father, because we know good gift come from you, dear Father. May you, dear Father, use them, dear Father, to better their life, Jehovah. And Lord God, may you open the doors that no man can shut, Jehovah. Fulfill their hearty desires, dear Father, and meet to them, dear Father, according to your riches in glory, Jehovah. Thank you, dear Lord, because dear Father shall continually watch over them as they go to school and come back, dear Father. As even, dear Father, others, dear Father, in other errands, Jehovah, all that they do, dear Father, shall continue, dear Father, to bless them, dear Father, and even to walk over them, dear Father. Even at this time, dear Father, so much is happening in our country. Jehovah, Lord God, we are praying for your patience, we are praying for your tolerance, dear Father, and Lord God, that you may protect these ones, dear Father, even Lord God, from the attacks, Jehovah, of the enemy, dear Father, that, dear Father, the enemy will not glorify itself over anyone, dear Father, that belongs, dear Father, even to this congregation, dear Father, or to this community, dear Father, because, dear Father, we know, dear Father, so much is happening, dear Father, but, Lord God, you are a way maker and a promise keeper, dear Father, you are able to do that, which, dear Father, is exceedingly abundant, Father, and we can think or imagine, dear Jehovah, watch over them that they shall be at the right place, dear Father, at the right time, dear Father, covered by the precious blood of Jesus, Jehovah, and Lord God, surprised, dear Father, by you, dear Lord, according to your will, Jehovah. May you watch over them, bless even the teachers that are taking them, dear Father, to the classes, Jehovah. Lord God, may you, dear Father, give them the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding, dear Father, and even the patient, dear Father, to deal with these dear ones, Jehovah, and bless them, dear Father, as they continue, dear Father, even to teach these dear ones, dear Father, and all the glories and honor shall be unto you, dear Father. We worship you and we adore you and it is in Jesus mighty name we pray believe and trust Amen. now we will listen to our readings our readings will be led. the first reading will come from the book of Isaiah 58 4 to 1 and it will be read by Tanisha and the second reading from Matthew 28 31 to 40 will be read to us by Samuel Mbogo Praise God. My name is Tanisha and our first reading comes from Isaiah chapter 58 verse 4 to 11. Your fasting ends in quarreling and strife and in strengthening each other with wicked fists. You cannot fast as you do today and expect your voice to be heard on high. Is this the kind of fast I have chosen? Only a day for people to humble themselves? Is it only for bowing one's head like a reed and for lying in sackcloth and ashes? Is that what you call a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is it not this kind of fasting I have chosen? To lose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke? To set the oppressed free and break every yoke? 
Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked to clothe them and not to turn them away from your own blood, flesh and blood? Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear and your righteousness will go before you and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help and he will say, Here am I. If you do away with the yoke of oppression and with the pointing finger and malicious talk, and if you spend yourselves in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like the noonday. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. And you will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. That's the word of the Lord. Praise God. My name is Samuel Boko. It's a good reading. It's coming from Matthew 25. That weren't forty. Matthew twenty five. That weren't forty. When the Son of, of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit on the glory in the glorious hot throne. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one by one from from another as a shepherd separate the sheep from the goats. He will put them on his right and, and the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on the right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance to the king, kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed uh, clothes, clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit to visit me. Then the righteous we will we answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? All that stay and give you something to drink. When did we see you, a stranger, and invited, and invite you in, all need, needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go visit you? 40. The king replied, Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one, of the least of those brothers and the sisters of mine you did for me. May God bless his word. Thank you very much for reading for us very wonderfully. We will now stand up and sing our preparatory hymn, hymn number 381. My faith looks up to thee.
Good morning. Praise God. Ni baridi na jua vile iko kali. Hamtaki kusema amen. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, this morning I'm saved. I'm Esther. Laji kwa jogona. Na ni gweda. We remind each other a few things as we listen to God. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we want to come to you this morning. Our hearts are filled with thanksgiving. We feel so blessed because you have given us the gift of life. We want to listen to you this morning so that you guide our minds, O oh God, and that we shall not go astray, that we shall live with each other the way you would want us to. As your people sit and I remain studying, O oh God, speak through me so that they are able to understand your voice. And this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Yes, you can take our seats. I've just said my name, but there is no harm repeating the same. I am Esther Jikwa Joguna. That's my husband. And you know, it is important that you identify yourself with the people who you belong to and the people who belong to you. In this church, Goshen, we belong to each other as a family. And that is why we come together in different groups to be in a position to serve each other and serve God at the same time. So today I want us to think about serving God, worshiping God by serving other people. And therefore I want you to, move, to remove yourself from other people and think about you as the self. Where we come away we. How do you worship God by serving the people that are around you? We have had two readings, one from Isaiah and another one from Matthew. And there are a few things that we should learn from there. And I, have, I want to remind you, remove yourself from the crowd and be yourself. Sasa sahi. Ni mimi wajiko niko hapa. And we need to ask ourselves. Mimi ni jiulize. Kama mimi wajiko. Ni nini natakiwa kufanya. So that I am able to worship God. By what I do to the people around us. That then means. That. There is a way. You can. Bring about. Disgrace. To the Holy Trinity. By the way you treat others. Now, the whole Bible talks about service, and uh, the most touching bit in our readings today is how we are being asked in Isaiah how our fasting is pleasing God. There are very many issues. We, we fast, we wear sackcloths, to show righteousness. But today I want us to focus our minds on not all those many other things, but what we do to the people that are around us. By caring and serving those who God has put on our hearts. Number one, we have the families with us. Every person comes from a family. Every person. Whether you have children or you do not have, you have brothers and sisters and you have parents. What does God want us to do with them? The society will never lack needy people. And by the way, there is none of us who is immune to need. At one time or another, you will need somebody to come about and around you and encourage you and give you food. And you could be having food, by the way, but you are not even able to chew it. You are not able to feed yourself. You have food, yes. 
You have the mouth, yes. But you are so sick that your hand cannot pick that food from the plate and you chew. There are things that we take for granted. So I want us to begin by telling ourselves that we are all needy at one time or another. There's a time you will fall off accidentally and you may not be able to remove yourself from the ground and you will need people around you to pick you up. So what are we supposed to do in our families? Because we are not literally talking about needy as in poor. No. We are talking about needy as in a time when you need people to serve you. In our families, we need to provide. We need to love each other. There are times when our family members go to hospital. We need to pay the bills. We need to go and visit them. We need to go and encourage them. Number two is in our church, like where we are now. Goshen. Goshen is a family of many families. And there are things that we have put in place. There are plans that we have for this church that need our hand. Which then means that this church, which is made up of people, needs our service. And it is through this church that we shall glorify God. Every Sunday for the last so many weeks, we have been reminded that there is a Harabe on 8th October. And every district is giving money every week towards that. That is serving God by serving the church. And the church is a congregation. Towards the end of my small sermon, I will be talking about the benefits of us being able to support each other. Then we have the places of work, our places of work. What do we do with the people who have employed us? What do we do for them? Are we the kind of people who steal time, in quotes? It is good that those of us who have jobs, when we go to our workplaces, we serve God through doing what we are supposed to do in our workplaces. The teachers, the nurses, the business people, whoever it is that you are, what are you doing in your workplace? The Bible has reminded us that around us, that is in the society, and that is our area number four, Mercy, our area number three is in our workplace, and our area number four is in our villages, in our neighborhood. In our neighborhood, we have people who need food. We have people who need clothing. We have people who need shelter. And those are the things that Jesus has talked about. Those are the things that our the prophet Isaiah talked about the hungry, the naked, the desperate. And that is you and me. There's a book that talks about India in those many years ago called So Many Hungers. I don't know how many of us have ever come across that book. When you hear the word hunger, we think about the stomach. Hunger is not about the stomach. It is about all the things that you may be wanting to have at a certain time. Kwa hivyo ukona nja. Ukona nja ya school fees ya watoto. Ukona nja ya hospital bill ya mama yako. Ukona nja. Many, many jars. Including jar that is expressed in sexual immorality. And those are people who we are living with. The Bible commands us, even as we fast, we remember those people. We remember the people in our society that are struggling with drug and substance abuse. We do not condemn them. Because 
That is part of jar. That is part of sickness. Jesus said that there, that, that time when he was sick, when you and me are also asking when it was. That time when he was sick, there are those who went to see him. There are those who did not go. But who does he put in the kingdom? The people who went. As a nation today, we are struggling with very many hangers. And the biggest hunger we have, as evidenced last week, is for our youth to be listened to. They have made noise. They have made noise. They have made noise. Listening to a person who has a problem is a way of serving that person. And that is why God gave us ears. So that if a person is crying, you are able to differentiate that this person is crying and not laughing and therefore there is a need. So our next level of service is at the nation. At the national level. What are we doing? As citizens of this nation, are we just complaining about the government? The government that we put in place ourselves. And remember we had prayed. And God gave us what we went and put in the debit. We need to support each other as a nation, as a democratic nation, so that we listen. We watch and see. On a very light note, I want to ask this question. Today, according to the Generation Z program, you know what I am saying, and I have said today I'm not teaching in details. Kuna mtu alikuwa ametumwa. Kukuja kutuambia kitu kuhusu Gen Z. Leo they were supposed to be in church, occupying the church. And we can see they are occupying our seats. Kuna mtu akona message yetu. Sisi kama wazee wenye tumewezwa na kuenda kwa barabara na ku make noise. Kuna mtu ametumwa. Nimpatie microphone na same kitu. We shall listen. That is another way of serving our children. The way we were brought up, those of us who are 40 plus, hakukuwa na kuogea mzazi akiogea, hakukuwa na kuogea mwalimu akiogea, na hakukuwa na kuogea watu wazima wakiogea. And therefore we have carried it. The people in the government are my age mates. The people in the government are my age. Age mates. Meanwhile, the movie and the youth are my children. Nadio to Nasav Nawa Kwa Kazi. Munacheka Kwani, Sinu Kwedi. Wanataka Kukata. Are you not my son? I am. Good. Yes. Chekeni tu. Kuna muigine anacheka na nitasema ni my daughter. So what are we saying? That every person has a voice and a need to be listened to. Every. Our children talk through cry. They talk through play. I am a trained therapist for, ch for children, small children. How are our ways you get to say my name? Many children come to us because their families are dysfunctional. Hakuna mtu anaskiza muigine. So when they come, the first thing we want to know is whether the families are functioning. So tunawabia, nichonea familia yako. And they drew. And the first person to be drawn is the mother. Making a lot of noise. And the hair is standing on the head. The other person 
that they draw is the father. Sometimes very drunk. Amenara pahari kwa mrago na kamchupa kako pahari. Ama ako na kiboko. And the other person is their bigger brother or sister in the bedroom alone. Is that not what is happening in our families? We say as psychologists that when we are listening, it is good to listen with your eyes. Even as you hear, what is the body language of the person talking to you? Is it a person who is talking about something sad and is laughing? We call that incongruence. Ukisema kuna kitu kibaya kime happen, na unacheka. Nikumanisha wewe badala ya kusikia hiyo uchugu, unafurahia uchu. So you need to use your eyes very right. Let me go back to the family. Kwa sababu family, as we agreed another time here, makes the church and makes the nation. So are we providing a listening ear to each other, not, not just the children? How are our communication lines? Because when you give your ear to your husband, to your mother, to your wife, to your children, you are serving them. It is very rare that people sit as families to listen to each other. What we know how to do best is to make noise. Now, the noise we have been making, imezimwa. Ile noise iko huko juu, huko nje, ni ile tulikubali hatukukubali ipigiwe kwa nyumba. I may look like I am a Gen Z, but my mind thinks along with them. Because I work with them a lot. What you refuse us to do at home, we shall do it on the road. Masi ni adikia hapa communication. Communication. Where you talk, we listen. And when I am talking, you listen. Badala ya tuwede kwa barabara, tukapige do. Tukapige nini? Yes. When we open our lines of communication, we are serving in our family, we are serving in our church, we are serving in our workplaces. Mr. Jogona and I are employers of quite a number of people. And they have several needs that they do not know how to work with. And if we do not listen to them, job to So when we are communicating well, we are telling each other, we are at the same level. A neighbor, I'm still on communication. Hana chakula for the last two weeks. Na wewe unapika ugali, unapika ugali. Unamaliza kukula, ikine unatupia dogi. That's a hungry person. Do you check on your neighbor? When you haven't seen your neighbor for long in our villages, do you want to find out? Kama ni mgojwa, like Jesus was. Kama ni guo hana, kama ni maji hana, kama ni nyuba amefugiwa, because it is not all of us who are living in self-homes. There are those of us who have rented. We have had cases of neighborhood that is careless in some areas where kwa sababu hakuna mtu alicheki on a certain person and they disappear for a week and the time when the people remember that there was such a person it is when I am smelling bad because I died I hanged myself and I am dead for the last one week na hakuna mtu alinok kwa mlago when we serve other people, we are able to deal with crisis that we do not need to wait for. Mpaka kuwe kubaya sana ati tutaanza kulia. Check on your neighbor. Provide what they don't have. 
And the family being the most basic unit in the society, all what we shall exercise in our families is what we shall be able to do to others. Provide, communicate, want to hear what they are going through. Love them as they are. Listen to them. In James chapter 2, verses 14 to 17, it implies that faith without works is dead. Faith without works is what? So there is no way we are going to say very many here, praise God, praise Jesus, hey, what? And we fast a lot. Now at we are going to shida. It is futile to claim to believe in God and whoever it is that is near us, we do not care for them. And that is why the Bible also asks us, shall you claim to love God if the neighbor who you can see with your own eyes, you don't care about them? I consider that to be a million dollar question to the Christians. Will you claim to love God and your brother who you are born by the same mother is suffering in the village. He cannot take his children to school. He has no food. And you are here. Swimming in wealth, and you do not care. We don't even call them. There's a time when we agreed again as a congregation that we are created in the image of God, and God is in three persons Blessed Trinity. When we refuse to do what we are supposed to do to our brothers, then it is God that we are not serving. It is Jesus Christ that we are not following. It is the Holy Spirit that we are ashamed. So I want us this morning to tell each other or to remind ourselves that being the Christians we claim to be, we must set the right example. We must think about the prisoners. The prison Tijera, GOK, government of Kenya. No. Prisons are many. And one of the prisons that we are seeing in Kenya today is a prison of drug and substance abuse. Kubwa. Ninyigi. And we also have a, a drug of cartism the biggest movement right now amongst our youth is LGBTQ. It is another prison. Are we visiting those children? You might be fighting one in your home. A drunk child. An LGBTQ child. A cartic child. Umemfukuza kwako. Na tulisema tujitoe. Dio tuagalie watoto kama hao watu egine. Tuagalie wa iswe tu kama hao watu egine. And we look at our husbands kama hao watu egine. What help are we giving them? For the glory of God. Are we the kind of wives? Who when our husbands come drunk. We lock them outside the door. Come on, you get in a That thing is happening in the world today. In fact, not in the world. That is a prison. Jesus said, I was in prison and he did not come to visit me. Your wife is in prison. Are you visiting her? Your son is in prison. Are you visiting him? 
to love him, to listen to him, to sort him out? Or are we just condemning? Jesus has told the people who went to visit him, Why the kingdom? Because they did what they were supposed to do. There are a few benefits. I want to finish in a while because I know some of you are rushing up there to Kenyatta Road. In Deuteronomy 15, the Bible tells us that the needy will never disappear from the earth. Some Bibles say poor. But I want us to use the word needy ourselves because we have agreed all of us are needy. They will never disappear. It is money you want. Yes. It is as you are sick. You want to go abroad and you have to ask people to give you money to go. All of us are needy. So, as long as there are people on this earth, somebody will be needing something at some point in time. And the people around them are supposed to be generous with their time time. Because you cannot go visiting when you have not dedicated time to that. With their resources, their money, and with clothing. The Bible has really talked about it. And in uh, Proverbs 11, 25, the Bible tells us that generous people will prosper. Generous people are those who give that which is required, where it is required. Now, that statement being true, that generous people will prosper, what is the opposite of generous? Stingy. Why about to gamu when I talk gamu? Many it are kedo wo. Now how I want to talk with God. No, I want to warn us that as long as you are holding what God has given you in your hands and you are not giving out to the people who need it. There is no space for God to put more. Tuko pamoja. Ati. Umeweka mikono yako yote hivi. Chakula yako yote iko kwa. Chaos. Wewe dami tumeige fio. Na gimere kanua na regere da. Where is God supposed to put more? I want to challenge you. Give out. Let us give out. Where it is needed, whatever it is, is needed. So that God is able to continue giving us more. So when we give, I want us to look at the benefits of us giving at those levels that we have seen. Number one is that we get closer to God because we shall have obeyed him. God is a giver. He gives us life every morning. He gives us protection every day. And he gives us all other needs that we have. We are saying that we get closer to God because it is an expression of our faith in him. You have two shots. The Bible tells us you give one to your neighbor who does not have. And I want to assure you that when you give that one shot and you remain with one, God will refresh you. And that is what the Bible has told us. God will refresh you by giving you another one. Probably a suit. He will take you to a higher level because you have gone closer to him. And you have shown that you have faith that Nikki Penahi, God will replenish. Number two is that we are able to focus on other people's needs. We are social beings. And when we focus on them, then it means we are not selfish people. We are selfless. We are able to give ourselves out by sharing what we have with other people who are indeed in need. That will give you, number three, joy and satisfaction. When you give, 
And you find the person is becoming joyful about what you have done for them. You also get joy from that. Joy and satisfaction. Have you helped a person complete school? Because at some point in time, the parents were unable to pay school fees. You took them back to school. And when they finish, they come back and tell you, thank you. You see that joy in them. Probably you never even thought that you did anything big. But when they come back, hey, you tell yourself, you feel happy about it and you feel satisfied. Have you ever listened to somebody's problems and you just encourage them because sometimes people don't even need kitu unaguza. Sometimes people just need to be listened to to be encouraged. Have you ever encouraged somebody who then comes and tells you unajua hiyo siku tuliogea mimi karibu niende. Let me call myself a victim of such having been worked for 30 years in a school situation, actually 33, and 20 years as a counselor, I experienced very many children who wanted to commit suicide. And sometimes you don't know what to do with them. But God gives you the grace because you are willing to listen. Mtoto Anakuja Jioni, it is a day school, and he tells you. Mimi mwalimu leo siyedi kwetu, tunayado na wewe you have no permission to take somebody's child home. You do not even know where they come from. Wherever you come, you have to go to the home. You have to sit and listen. What is wrong with your home so that you are not going? And you go through a difficult journey together. And we agree that at a kama to takufa si reo bache tu e dae de. We plan differently. And that gives them hope. How many times have you bypassed somebody? You have given them a smile. And you see them smile back. And sometimes they run after you and I'm like, Mami, Mami, go ahead and take one attack. I'm to go ahead. Mami, come on, and Mami, arrogant. You will think he or she is wasting time for you. So you just go. And you are likely to go. Urudi jioni ukuje upate huyo mtu. Ame jinyoga. We are living in those times when you must stop and listen. You must. You must. Otherwise the consequences of your walking away going to church too fast. Na uriacha mtu kwa geta kiwa na shida. Tutapitana kwa jia ye aigie biguni mimi ni igie ni kachomeka kwa sababu siku mski. Yes. The other one is that when we give it means that we have appreciated that we have. So, when we appreciate our blessings, then we are able to share these blessings with other people. We experience satisfaction because we have shared. Because we have been appreciated. The other benefit is that it gives us a sense of purpose. We are able to know that we are serving together with those who do not have. It also boosts our self-esteem. Unaedalea na kujipeda wakati umesaidia mtu mwenye alikuwa kwa shida. And it is automatic. Because you feel, ah, oh, kupe naweza fanyia mtu kitu. Those who went and visited Jesus in prison and when he was sick and they gave him water, they benefited. Because going to heaven is not a small thing. They gained. And also when we give lastly, we are able to expand our social circles. We are able to make more friends and to strengthen relationships. 
So as we sit with whatever we have, we need to know that we need to strengthen our relationships. And when we practice all those things that we have seen, as a nation, we are able to promote that which we sing in songs, but we don't exercise. Peace, love, and unity. You promote it in your home, you promote it in your working place, you promote it in church, and you promote it in the nation. So when we do that, then, finally, when all is said and done, we are investing in eternity. Korea to gathie. Na biguni si oba si ama train, ama big airplane that you take us there. No, it is our faith. It is how we loved the people who are around us, and in essence, then loved God, obeyed God, and God blessed. So I want to urge all of us that when we have done all those good things, that we remember to pray for each other. We remember to pray for people who may not have expressed what they are going through. Kwa hivya hatujui kama wako na shida. Lakini shida hii? So we pray for God to reach those people who need assistance that we do not know. And we pray for this nation. We pray for this nation. And there are not ways about it. If we don't rise up to the occasion of the week ahead, the week ahead, because God can turn around everything. The youth have themselves said that he turns around everything. We need peace, love, and unity as parents, as brothers and sisters, as the Gen Z, you need not expose yourselves to danger. Yesterday I saw, I don't know how many of you joined the meeting of 60,000 members. Nani ariana hiyo? Kuna mtu ariana hiyo meeting? Guy, kaya kwa nyuariko. Moge, urigia meeting? Ya watu wako? Yes. Walk with this generation. Kwa kuna pari tuna apereka waka huku they are here to stay. So meeting ya jana. Ilikuwa na watu 60,000. Giri mena kwa tada tomodo muamwe. Omuwa huo ginya 60,000. Listening to each other. Mimi peke agu siwezi kisikiza muenza agu. Kwa nini? And if you can be able to give those people water, even the mayor, 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 the that was between 1987, 86 to 19. It was a school school fees, but we still used to make the noise. So we made noise on the road. And coincidentally, that time we went on strike. CCKU, the Nairobi University. And that time we went on strike. CCKU, the Nairobi University. The late Karyoki Shotara, who is the late Karyoki Shotara, May his soul rest in peace. He was an old man. And the government was up in arms. The minister of education had said he's not going to listen to us. So this old man, like the old men of Israel, told the government, listen to them. And because he never used to like using foreign languages, Kiswahili and English, and he said, Maybe. How about Toto? Mapewe? Dialogue makure. Now, if this statement is to apply today, watoto mapewe dialogue maku, na dialogue ne chapo, 
Because we used to be given two chapels every person to go to a dialogue. So, my parent dialogue, my kude. Dialogue is where you exercise proper communication. You listen, talk. You talk, you listen. So, to pay on a dialogue, to pay a dialogue to kude, to obey what to to obey in chietu, and also remember to pray for the whole world. Because if there were no nations that were ahead of us, watoto wetu hawangefika pahari walifika jana hiyo mkutano. So we serve our children, we listen to them, we stop quarreling, kwa sababu hii generation, hii naitua nini hii ya 50 years plus. Inyue, Gen Z, sisi tunaitua generation, hii de idolas, wale hawa tujui kupiga makelele. We support each other. Go out there, preach the gospel of Christ that he can turn around things so that we get blessings from God and that we shall have peace, love, and unity and we shall all inherit the kingdom of God together. Shall we pray? Father, we want to thank you because you are a good God that you have spoken to us to be mindful about other people's welfare because we are all created in your image and you are the one who created us. That whatever need that it is that each one of us, that any of us would be having at any particular time, that you shall be able to come together and sort each other out without complaining. I want to thank you because you have reminded us that when we give, you shall continue to bless us. And that you shall enjoy peace, love, and unity. That our families will be peaceful. We shall exercise good communication between each other. God, we invite you into every situation. At a personal level. At the family level. In our neighborhood, oh God. In our working places. In our church. And also in this nation. We need you as Kenyans, oh God. That the crossroads at which we are, you will be able to come and intervene. Send your Holy Spirit, O oh God, to mediate in our minds, O oh God, regardless of the generation that we belong to. That we shall be able to serve each other. And in our service to each other, then we will be able to worship you. For this we ask, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. So God bless you. Have a good week and be courageous. Wow, what a message. Have you been blessed? Yeah, that was a very wonderful message. We thank you very much, Mrs. Njoguna. We pray that the Lord will continue to use you to continue to remind us because as human beings, we need to be reminded over and over again. And as we live, may the Lord give us understanding so that as we go, let us reflect on that word and put it to use. Mm -hmm. Next, we now go to a session of tithes, offerings, and thanksgiving. It will be led by Elder Njuguna. Buana Asifiwe. Praise God, Church. Ya leo tuko wachache kwa sababu ya yale ambayo yako mbele And we can only thank God that we are alive And we've listened to his word He would tell us to serve him Serve him through humanity Serve him through the family Serve him through the community And uh, he will be there for us Asante sana Dikon kwa sababu ya kuja hapa mbele nitamuomba Dikon mwingine aje Rachel please tafadhali njo ingawa leo nafikiri tuko wachache siji kama moja inatosha i think one is enough uh, Masi display and uh, i take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for giving unto the lord's work for serving and uh, we've been able to do one, two, three. We are doing well in the tithes, or rather, we are doing well in giving 
our towards their location of our church in the parish the MMF tunaendelea vizuri in fact treasurer wa parish alikuwa anasema tupewe kikombe na kwa sababu kazi yake imekuwa rahisi ako hapa nyuma yangu treasurer wa parish na kwa hivyo tunaendelea vizuri kwa upande wa MMF we've been singing about putting some storage space under the staircase to the studio and you've made it possible we are just about to finish to do the final pale nyuma mnaona kuna viji sanduku pale we have quite some storage for our groups uh, and a library that we are going to give to JPRC and Christian Education na pia brigade wako na nafasi and all the other main groups uh, at the same time we were able to acquire this camera that is in front of me here so that we can be having quality online service and much more that we'll continue doing tuliwaambia we are going to spend some money about 1.2 in acquiring our land and i did explain i think last sunday and the other sunday the acquiring we are talking about is redeeming or registering the pieces into the name of the church and that's the presbyterian foundation and most likely in one two weeks time let me put it in two weeks time we'll have the titles out so we thank you greatly for what you've done tumpigie bwana makofi uh, on the screen you can see uh, what we've been able to do since april and we are required to give in the region of 4.2 uh, this month being almost the end of june we have july august to accomplish our goal kwa hivyo ombi ni kwamba tuendelee kujitolea na tupeane kama vile Mungu atakavyo tusaidia actually sacrificial giving it's a blessing to us na tumeambiwa what we get out of serving and giving so i don't need to read unless you can see naona Bethlehem wako na 123400 Berea 186350 Canaan at 152400 uh, Judea at 104600 uh, Shiloh district 158 uh, and 60 Trinity at 163140 Umoja at 282150 and the total 1.17 uh, million kwa hivyo tuzidi kutenda kazi ya bwana kama kuna mtu ambaye ako na tithe thanksgiving tafadhali njoo hapa mbele tusimame tafadhali tuombe Baba katika jina la mwana Yesu Kristo tena toja mbele yako tukikushukuru kwa ema wako baba tukikushukuru kwa siku hii njema tukikushukuru baba kwa sababu ya uhai na zaidi ya mno kwa sababu ya uongovu ambao ulio ndani yetu kupitia kwa mapenzi yako ukampa naye mtoto wako kwetu aje akaweze kuwa toleo lako kuu baba imefika wakati baba wa kutoa kupeana kwa kazi yako ya kueneza injili baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu mabariki kila mmoja hapa na kitu cha kuleta humu nyumbani mwako baba tunazo biashara zibariki baba tunacho kilimo kibariki baba tunayo ajira baba 
zibariki wale ambao baba wamekuja nazo wabariki wale ambao baba wanakuita baba ili wakoweze kujumuika katika ibada ya matoleo baba pia wabariki baba tunashukuru kama kanisa kwa sababu umezidi kutuinua kutoka hali moja hadi hali nyingine ya juu unazidi kuomba kuinuliwa nawe unazidi baba kukuomba mkono wako ukae nasi na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini amen kujeni hapa mbele tafadhali Asante baba kwa haya matoleo na yale pia yamepitia kwa njia ya simu baba baraka zako zikawe juu ya kila moja tuzipokea na toa zitenga kutokana na zingine zote hii hizi zikaweze kutenda kazi yako kama upendavyo bariki hata nazo ambazo zimebaki mifukoni mwetu na kazini mwetu in Jesus name we receive ah uh, tukiwa tumesimama vile um, we thank you god for the week that was and god we ask you to be with us in the coming week and in the days ahead of us may you continue protecting us and individually as a country and god may we heed your direction your word your command and your instructions take care of the youth in the coming week and god may there be a rapport between the government and wananchi so that there would be peace in jesus name we pray Now grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore amen We have come to the end of our service this morning I am Susan Apai I was your leader for today I wish you a blessed day and a fruitful week ahead filled with god's blessings we will close with hymn number 110 amazing grace as we take the book back to vestry blah